In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain about the pin mechanism. For more additional videos, please do subscribe my channel. The pin mechanism allows a component to rotate in only one direction. That is, only one rotary motion is possible in pin mechanism. For explaining the pin mechanism, I'm going to draw one blade and a support for it. I'm going to create a new file and make sure that your unit is described in millimeter newton second pot solid and then click on OK. I'm going to select the front plane and click on sketch and go to sketch view and I'm going to draw a circle of length 100 mm and then give a check mark to it and go to the extrude command and extrude it up to 200 and then give a check mark. So now I'm going to draw the blades. For that, I'm going to offset this plane to a value of 60 and then click on OK. And I'm going to sketch on this plane and go to sketch view and I'm going to draw a arc, first point and my second point and draw a arc like this and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to project this arc into the cylinder surface. For that, I'm going to use the project command. Select the project command and select the surface. And now my sketch is projected into the cylindrical surfaces here and press the middle mouse button to exit from the command. And I'm going to select this new datum plane and offset this to a value of 150. And then click on OK. And again, I'm going to sketch on this new plane and go to sketch view. And this time I'm going to draw a bigger arc. My first point and my second point and draw a arc like this. And then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to connect these two arcs by using the boundary plane command. Go to the boundary plane command and my first curve was selected and holding down the control key, select the other curve. And now my surface is created and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to pattern this boundary blend. Select this boundary blend and click on pattern and go to axis pattern and select the axis and I want three blades so select three and I'm going to separate this by using the value 360 divided by 3 which gives me an angle of 120 degree and then give a check mark to it. So now my blades are created and I'm going to apply the fillets on it. Go to round by selecting this engineering round or else Type R from the computer keyboard as a shortcut and I'm going to select this surface here. Let me increase this to a certain value and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to apply the round on this surface here. For that, I'm going to surface and click on the vertex round, which is used to round the surfaces. So I'm going to select this vertex point and holding down the control key, select the other vertex point and let me adjust this to a value like this. I'm going to use the again the vertex round and now my blade design is completed and I'm going to save this. Go to file and save us and I'm going to save this into the desktop and right click on it and create a new folder and type pin and click on OK and I'm going to save this as blades and then click on OK and I'm going to close this one and I'm going to create the supporting elements click on new and again part and make sure that your unit is represented in millimeter nano second part solid. And I'm going to select this plane and click on sketch and go to sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a center rectangle whose length and breadth are 1000. 
and then give a check mark to it and click on the extrude command and let me extrude this to a value of 200 and then give a check mark to it and select the surface and click on sketch and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a circle here whose diameter is going to be 90 and I want this to be at a distance of 250 and I'm going to draw two center lines here my first center line and my second center line and now I'm going to use the mirror command to mirror this based on this center line and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to click on the extrude command and extrude it to a value of 200 and then give a check mark to it and now select the round command by selecting R from the computer keyboard and select this edges here and holding down the control key select the other edges as well and then give a check mark to it so now my support is completed and I'm going to save this as support and click on OK and I'm going to close this one and now I'm going to open the new assembly file new click on new and click on assembly and make sure that your unit is represented in millimeter newton seconds assembly design and click on OK and click on assemble and I'm going to import the support element first click on support and click on open and I'm going to set this as default and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to import the blades at first let me place it here and I have to apply the shell feature to edit this I'm going to select this and click on open and now I'm going to select this surface here and then click on shell and I'm going to shell it to a value of 10 and then give a check mark to it and let me close this one and now my shell feature is applied in the assembly environment and now I'm going to edit the definition select the blades and click on edit definition and let me rotate it to look like this and I'm going to set this mechanism as a pin mechanism and if I go to the placement tab I see an option called the axis alignment so I'm going to align this axis to the axis of my component and then I'm going to use the surface alignment I'm going to select this surface and my component surface and then give a check mark to it if I select the drag component and now you see that I can drag my blades and it is rotating in one direction and thereby arresting the other five degrees of freedom and click on close and I'm going to repeat the same steps by clicking the assemble once again and select the blades and click on open and I'm going to invert this like this and use the pin mechanism and select the axis alignment and then the surface alignment and then give a check mark to it and I'm going to click on assemble once again and the blade connection and the pin mechanism the axis of the component and the axis of the assembly and then this surface with this surface and then give a check mark and my final blade click on open go to pin mechanism and select this axis and 
the axis of my component and just lift it up and select this surface of the assembly and my surface of the component and then give a check mark to it. And just I have applied some render features here and then I have to apply the motor connection. For applying the motor connection, go to the application step and click on mechanism. And here I have an option called the servo motor. Select the servo motor and, and select the axis. And then go to the profile details. And here I'm going to change this to the angular velocity and let me enter a value of 50. And then give a check mark to it. And go to servo motors once again and select this axis and go to the profile details and go to the angular velocity and let me type a value of 40. And then give a check mark to it. You can also apply the servo motors by the other methods. If I go to the mechanism tree, I have an option called the connections. And in the connections, I have joints. And this is my first connection tree. And this is my connection four. And this is my connection five and connection six. So if I, I have applied the two connections here. And if I go to this connection, and I'm going to click on this rotational axis and apply the servo motor and go to the profile details and click on angular velocity and let me enter a value of 30 and then give a check mark to it. And my final connection, go to the rotational axis and select it and click on servo motor from the pop-up window and click on profile details and let me enter a value of 100 and go to the angular velocity as well and then give a check mark to it and let me switch it to full screen and go to the mechanism analysis and here i'm going to analyze this as a kinematic analysis and then i want this to be run for 100 seconds and then click on run and now you see that my compound and now you see that my blade is rotating in only one direction with varying speed. So this is the use of the pin mechanism.